Say hi to Michael Dell, Mark. What? <laughs> Say hi to Michael Dell. Are you serious? Is Michael Dell in here? Yeah. <laughs> so you better stay in here. So you better stay in here. Well, where <laughs> are you, Michael Dell? I don't even see you. <laughs> Hang on, I'm you. looking. Hi there, Mark. Hey, uh, how's it going? Michael Dell, like Hi the there. real Michael Dell. Like the real Michael Dell. Real Michael Dell. That's Michael awesome. Dell. I'm glad you're here. So we've made history by having Michael Dell come into the G Plus, G plus <laughs> Hangout. It's exciting. Somebody's <laughs> <laughs> got some bad echo going on here. Yeah, and this this has been a constant problem. Just so you know, is getting this all set up. I mean, this is a. This is a one-man show me plus all the helpers I can find like these guys here, Michael and AJ and, and, and John and all these guys have been so helpful. Uh, what I was saying about the consumer is that I think if they're calling or trying to get help for their computer, then they're probably not going to have, I mean for some cases yes they'll have a computer to do this on, but if it's a hardware problem, they're not going to have a computer to join this Hangout in, and so you'll still need that phone line. Oh, no, we, we, we'll, we'll always have the phone line. Yeah. yeah. We got some major echo. we got to find where it's coming. Sorry, Michael. I just, you know, it, I think it, it's it Michael. Tell so what can you tell us? I mean, we, we've all seen your article. We've all been talking about you were in the news about using this for customer service. Um, what what can we tell you can tell us about that idea? Well, you know, um, uh, well, you know, know um, so somebody's got a bad echo. Well, you know, uh, so somebody's got a bad echo. Well, you know, uh, so you know, well, you know, uh, I think you're actually echoing through yourself. yourself. I think you're actually echoing through yourself. 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 If it were were you by any chance watching the live stream feed over on the Hangout website? Ah, look at that! How about that? Okay, there we go. <laughs> awesome. That was a rookie mistake there. Boy. <laughs> hey, we're all learning. <laughs> I had the live stream on another window. Rookie, rookie error. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so. Um, you know, we have, we have uh, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, we have all kinds of chat available. And actually, one of the really interesting things is that we've seen a, an enormous uh, change in behavior where customers, you know, uh, have been doing much more chat than they have uh, uh, phone. And um, customers really like chat. So we're, we're, we're doing more and more of that, on, I mean, online chat, you guys know about that. So, so you know, the, the video is just another way to do it with even more interaction and be able to pick up some of the nonverbal cues and you could obviously do screen sharing if you're doing some of that. So, you know, we'll probably start with the more private and secure uh, forms of, of doing it. You know, we do lots of webcasts and things like that. You know, webcasts would be kind of interesting in the multi party video if you could have people you know, participating in those and, and be able to, you know, click in and ask questions and have a you know, video. So I think that this is a great demonstration, great tools. You know, we'd love to see uh, open APIs and, you know, we'll figure out how we can, how we can uh, integrate it. Yeah, I mean, I mean I think you used a keyword there. This is a demonstration, right? I mean, this isn't powerful enough for a customer service center, don't you think? Yeah, no, no there's no queuing. There's no yeah, you can't. Sorts of things that are missing. Yeah. I don't know if you were aware of this or not, but when I first started this up, we had what they call in this world the haters that came in and they were like throwing pornography at us in here and stuff like that. And we had no way to block them. And I, I detest that stuff. And everyone here knows that I talk it all, all the time. So Google was able to roll a change we just now, right before you got in here, a belly dancer animated video or something just got thrown in here as a profile. And I was able to go out and block that person almost immediately. And so Google really stepped up and did that for us. But we, we actually are going to be um, hiring interns if needed to man the clock solely to get the trash out of here. You yeah, know, that's great. It's too bad we don't want to be streaming junk around the world. Well, unfortunately, as we've all... Uh, 
be keep you to be reminded. It just takes one or two uh, bad people to sort of mess things up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna. I'll stop talking. Let everybody else talk to you and let you talk. I don't mean to take over. I just. I was excited. Thank you very much for coming in here. If you don't mind, I'd kind of like to little do a little test. Um, you you just tell me if I can't do it, but I want to post on my Google Plus profile that you're in here and see how quickly the traffic jumps up. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. I don't see any problem. All right, you guys go ahead and talk to him. I'm going to post that real quick. Thanks, Michael. Right. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Hey, 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 guys. What I'll do is I'll keep an eye on the chat on the live stream feed. So if there's any good questions for you, Michael, I'll feed them back in here to you. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I, I love you, T. I'm a Texas boy, so <laughs> Lake Travis, Austin area. Uh, I've played on a state champion baseball team there. Very, very good place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, we got we got our Longhorn stuff all over here. There we go. <laughs> Although it's like a hundred and something degrees here today, so it's a little bit yes, it is. It's a little bit rough. <laughs> good time to be. That's, here. Every, cool. that's everywhere in the U.S. right now. Cause it's here in Michigan, in Michigan too. Oh man, that's... all over the country, it's been uh, extraordinarily hot right now. Hey Michael, this is my first time uh, in a hangout with you, so uh, nice to meet you. And I don't really have a question per se, but I wanted to say thank you for making sure that the button on my Dell laptop computer can withstand me pushing it multiple times in order to try and get in a hangout with you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, a special machine that like hits the button over and over again. There we go. We got the long horns going over here. That's good. I like that. That's, that's in my long horn stuff around Oh, there we go. Michael, let's show off. <laughs> hey, there's just one thing. Uh, I completely agree. I completely agree. It's all right. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, AJ's from the Dallas area too, so we got a couple Texans in here. All right. Yeah, Thanks. actually, Austin wouldn't have me, so I went over to UT Dallas. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I think the great thing about this in the beta test. The hamburger. <laughs> What's that all about? That that was uh, my girlfriend bringing uh, a hamburger to me, so we're gonna have the moment of truth. Uh, I don't know if you've heard this, Michael, but um, what we've heard is that in the next week or so, uh, we're going to be getting uh, Smell-O-Vision rolled out through Google Hangouts. <laughs> that sounds like an April Fool's joke. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that required USB 3.0 for that? Or, or, how do you do that? It better. If it's Thunderbolt, nope. <laughs> Thunderbolt, nobody will have it. It's probably you probably have to have some uh, some some extra accessories for that. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> that that's spe speaking to the hardware guy, you know. So <laughs> speaking to the hardware, is that your the Dell IPS, the latest uh, displays behind you? These? Yes. Is that the Ultra Sharp series? Those are yeah. I, I have the um, I have the two thirty inch displays, okay. and um, you put it together. It's about eight million pixels. Yeah, yeah. And um, I used to tell my kids that you know I put one eye on one screen and one eye on the other. That way I could read faster. But you know, <laughs> they little they believe me, but now they're they don't, they don't know. Dad, that's just nonsense. They're, they're just talking. They're just talking. The computer lab that I use over at uh, UT Dallas has all of the 27 inch uh, versions of those and uh, they give Apple displays a run for their money I will tell you it's a uh, well, I, I know it's we excellent. all sell them uh, displays by, by a pretty wide margin but yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's excellent. excellent I'm using one right now actually so thank you, thank you. They're, 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 you know the, the displays keep getting better and better Resolution is uh, pretty amazing, and uh, the other incredible thing is each year the power consumption comes down. Yeah, uh, yeah. So they get brighter and brighter. Um, we have this new notebook that has a 300 nit screen, 1080p, uh, the XPS 15Z, 
an amazing screen. It's the only notebook, only 15-inch notebook with a 1080p screen, and it is unbelievably bright <laughs> and, and just incredible. So we we love all that stuff. So any 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 of you guys using uh, tablets? Who's 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 got a tablet? What do you use a tablet for? I want one. The two expensive right now. Yeah. What do you, and what, do you use what tablet do you want? I think that's the ultimate question. Uh, I want a Dell Streak 10-inch tablet that's running Honeycomb. Well, we, we actually have those in China. Yeah, when are they coming to the U.S.? Well, I think we're going to wait for ice cream sandwich. You um, think so? Okay. Yeah, you know, we, 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 we're, we're not real, you know, Honeycomb is maybe not so fantastic. <laughs> So we're we're sort of waiting for ice cream sandwich. Excellent. Excellent. Well, me and AJ will volunteer to be beta testers in the states if you would. If you oh, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. for us. Me too. Call me in. Call me here. <laughs> hey, I, Google can tell you the feedback that we give is excellent. We, we, <laughs> we actually uh, came up with a way to sell these slots either for charity or oh, for profit. That's a really good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, uh, basically, basically Chi Chu came in here, and we had discussed the branding. This me and Mark got together when we about probably I would say, Mark when you say about ten hours into it, and we just saw something more here, and we said we need to brand this. So we immediately got a Twitter, uh, and uh, started marketing towards that way because yeah, you know, I saw the opportunity of being the, if you have the hip little room here that everybody wants to be in, you know that that is some some potential for everybody and I'm in the social media field where cross promotion is the name of the game you don't want to stomp your competition you want to work with them because they in social networks they've got people I need I got people that they need and I don't want to alienate those people I want to I want to unite and make a massive network and you know if, if I'm gonna get rich I want to make my neighbors rich so this this platform we encourage people when you come in here broadcast this you know, tell your social media that you're coming into the marathon hangout because we have VIPs like you coming. I mean, I think you've taken the cake. We've been begging for Sergey to come. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> you know. like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, Jonathan, what the heck's going on there? <laughs> Webcam, Nats, and Minicam, both together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure I get the whole picture here. What 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 the heck are you doing? What's, what? He's the most creative of us, I think, in that he's trying to see how many different places he can have his video feed streaming through at one time before it hits Google servers. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. He's got two programs running right now. Nice. These guys have been using all sorts of technology to change up the boring profile picture. They've been using Manicam and Webcam Max. And it's been interesting that I'm not a technical geek. I'm more of a social internet marketing affiliate manager type guy. And these guys are very technical. For me, what we did at first was we ran this feed through Ustream.com. And it was very, very choppy. And we were, we were excited to get it up and live. And everyone was excited to watch it. But I went over yesterday and I just stood there and watched it for a couple of hours. And it was so choppy, it was annoying. So we got Livestream.com went into their Procaster version and suddenly we have what looks like a great website on Hangout on gplus.com. It's a lot better than it was just 24 hours ago. And so we're learning step by step by step. But as this becomes more popular, it almost seems like, company like companies like yours, like Dell, might, might be providing solutions, I guess. I mean, I would like a solution that allows me to more appropriately run this because I'm making this up as I go and people in Germany and in Texas and in Utah everywhere they're all helping me get it done it's complicated and I think it should be easy and it's it's not yet so we're doing things with this that weren't that are not meant to be but we're kind of forcing it mm -hmm. so so right now it's a, right now we're trying to get it going through um, um, YouTube yes. Yes. He had the yeah. most, he had the most watch uh, channel uh, in, uh, stream in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like on the news, Jonathan. If I understand the whole picture here. Yeah. 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 Got it. <laughs> yep. Who's who's the newscaster? 
Um, don't know. Okay. Somebody that works for Huffington and Puffy Team Post right now. <laughs> Like that. A great shout out to them <laughs> for coming he, over here. Is he <laughs> still in here? Cool. So, anyways, we've been Most accused of working for Google because we're so excited about this, and they're telling me that I'm being compensated by Google. My <laughs> wife says, "Hey, why not? Let them compensate you." But obviously, we're not. We just like the technology, and we're trying to make the best of it. Yeah, we're just all geeks. I mean, I think this is uh, cool, cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing how how uh, fast it's all coming together. Yeah, it's fun. Cool. Well, thanks for coming in here and taking a look and hanging out with us. I won't make you stay forever if you have to run or whatever. But welcome to hang out, Mike. Don't, uh, don't, don't kick him out. out. I'm not kicking you out. I'm, not, <laughs> <You're> kicking <laughs> you out I'm kicking out Michael Dell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't don't let us bore you. I've read these reviews that were boring. I didn't, I didn't bring up politics or anything, or religion or anything. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep on talking, you guys. Ask him questions yeah. or he's going to want to bail. You know, I mean, I, I, actually, tell, tell me wrong, Michael. You want to ask us questions, don't you? Well, so um, let's just go back to this tablet thing. Any, any, anybody else uh, have a tablet or want a tablet? I would I love don't. a tablet. I think we all want one. I yeah. Just whether we have one or not. I, I've been using the iPad for a while. I uh, I will confess. Oh. Uh, I am a Mac user. Uh, and, uh. And, and and now that you have your iPad, you know, do you use it instead of your PC, or do yeah. you use it like in addition to your PC? Uh, I'm using it in addition to my PC. Um, for for email, I mostly use my phone. Um, except if I'm, um, you know, attaching things. Um, uh, the tablet is mostly for web surfing, um, and then the computer is mainly just uh, for photo editing. Um, I'm a photographer, so that's basically what I use my Mac for. But most of my other applications that I've been that I've been using, um, uh, I have apps for now on the iPad. You have. Three devices, or do you, have, do you have more than one of any of those three kinds of devices? Uh, I have I have two MacBooks, and then I have the iPhone and the iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. So you, you so brave to come in here with this? <laughs> I I did have before my MacBooks. I did have a Dell uh, XPS. Uh, which I absolutely loved, and uh, that those uh, between the MacBook and the the XPS, those are my my two favorite computers uh, I've ever had. Uh, I have also had a Toshiba. Uh, the thing gave me nothing but problems, but um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the Dell. It's just most of the things that I do. Um, I'm a photographer, so Photoshop. I find it it runs better on a Mac. Okay. Oh, not a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> what, Michael? What would be nice is to have something like the EPad Transformer uh, mm -hmm. from Dell. I love that form factor, and I would honestly love one of those uh, because of that keyboard and how it just is almost seamlessly integrated with it. I bought a netbook from Asus. Uh, a while back, right before I started college, and I missed the Transformer launch by about a month and a half, and I'm kicking myself ever since because I that form factor seems like not if not the way to go, then definitely smart because it gives you that laptop that a lot of people will need in you know just typing stuff out, but then when they want to get the more entertainment value out of it, they can just put that keyboard back into the backpack and walk around with the actual tablet. Yeah, have you seen any of those slider designs? Uh, yeah, I saw the slider design from Asus, and I think it would add too much weight. I like the concept of removing weight and the putting it... piece design. Pardon? The two-piece design. You could say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of that. Okay. Interesting. All right. Sounds good. Any of you using, uh, you know, like software as a service or cloud computing? Uh, we, right now we're in Hangout Cribs. 
<laughs> the, the Michael is always showing a crib. <laughs> so, Jonathan, are you doing like multiple hangouts at once? <laughs> Probably. Are y'all talking to me? No. I hear Michael and I, I don't answer because I know that's no, most likely the question is not. <laughs> but the beauty of having Michael, when I'm taking a screenshot here, then you know I'm right next to him. Hey, Mike, can I pass you a Gatorade? Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You the trick. Now what you got to do? No, it's the opposite. Okay, everybody, help me out here. Which side's my economy? Is he this side or that side? No, he was this the right way. That was that good. Side. That way. All right, here we go. No, no, no. We got, you got to do the side. Now, Michael, you got to go to the side. And what you got to do is have something. We're gonna do a magic trick. You're gonna turn this into something. <laughs> All right. The first magic uh, trick is. This is this is Dallas. To, now the to first. Austin. No, no, you gotta hold it flat because I'm gonna pass it this way. You gotta go. There you go. <laughs> there we go. All right, now why don't you have a Gatorade bottle, Mark? <laughs> On the name of That's how we do it around here. We get pretty bored. Flavor Fury, you know what that is? I can do it. Where you sort of do what you're good at, I'm not really very good at that. So, <laughs> so anybody using? So you're out out in the pool there. Nice. Yeah, at night I saw I got the disco lights inside the pool. You know they change colors. So yeah, you know I, LEDs. You know you got to give a little liven it up a little bit. A little background. <laughs> Actually, it's all CG. Oh gosh. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Any of you using uh, software as a service apps in uh, in a business setting for business? Could you give us some examples on what exactly you mean by that? Because well, um, you know, traditional apps would be sort of running in a, in a server inside a business. Uh, you know, using any cloud-based applications. Okay. Uh, for business or, or inside a, a large organization or mid-sized organization. Yeah, not a part of a corporation yet, so I'm not. But okay. I, I guess I'll, I'll jump in. Um, I, I have a s very small company. Um, we uh, we're using Evernote. Um, yeah. And we're huge fans of that. I take it everywhere I go with me on my phone. Mm -hmm. I have an idea, it's uploaded on there, and I have a few people who can jump into the, the account and take a look um, throughout the day. So that's that's the solution that we're using right now. And, and do you pay, by the way, all companies start out very small. So <laughs> there's no company in the world that started out really big. So you know, all, all, all the really big companies now, they started out, that's little tiny company, just like Dell did. So, do you pay Evernote any money? Nope. Okay. Nope. And, and so you're able to get what you need without paying them any money. Yeah, we're yeah we, we keep it underneath their their uh, their upload limits. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's I think it's a gigabyte a month, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, unless you're like moving a lot of data, that's uh, that's a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, for for anything else, um, we'll we'll just upload it to our own server. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anybody else? My son, say hi to you. He's going to ITT here in Dallas, so uh, he wants a little bragging rights. That he said he, he chatted with Michael. <laughs> hey, Taylor. Say hi, Taylor. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Great. <laughs> Do you have any computer questions? <laughs> he don't want to sound like a noob, Michael. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Sure thing. So, Michael, do you think that we could be seeing uh, a laptop form factor with the Chrome OS on it anytime soon? You know, technically, it's really easy to do, and I think with uh, ARM coming into x86 type products, uh, you know, what we're doing, ARM-based, 
Windows 8 products, and it's really easy to put Chromium, Chrome OS on, a, on an ARM-based machine. The reviews so far haven't been that great. Um, so I mentioned, are any of you using Chrome, Chromium, Chrome, Chrome OS? I, I tried it out. Yeah, what you mean? I, uh, I think that Google is slowly starting to show their big picture thinking with all of this. I think that especially in the education world that I'm still in, I think eventually I'll open up a Chromebook laptop and use almost all Google products eventually. Would you rather have a Android ice cream transformer uh, two-piece uh, you know, a tablet, <laughs> whatever transformer, or, or a Chromium uh, you know, notebook. Right, right now, now? because the, all the Chrome notebooks are running on, you know, not too powerful of hardware, I would say the tablet with the detachable keyboard. I think that when Chrome OS becomes a viable option for, you know, computers and they start selling computers that have, you know, better specs in them, mm -hmm. then it'd be interesting to see whether it would be worth it to have it on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. Hey, Michael, my, my, Michael? one of my clients, Grant Cardone, I don't know if you know of him, but he wants to know what's the most influential book you ever read in your life. Most influential book. I'm not really sure I'd say there's one book. I mean, um, uh, you know, what uh, kind of influenced me and inspired me were the, the stories about, you know, other people who started companies and how they got them started and, um, you know, John was mentioning earlier that his company is a small company and, and uh, you know, if you, if you look into the history of, of companies, they all started off small said that earlier, but it's kind of interesting to see, you know, how did they evolve and how did they become these great big companies. So I was kind of inspired by some of those stories and just by, you know, learning from others and, and, uh, and that kind of thing. I've been fortunate to be able to interact with lots of people in, in the industry uh, over the years and have uh, great you know, advice from, from uh, uh, from others and you know learn from our customers and you know, it's, it's, it's a it's a great industry hey Michael this is Mark thank you Michael, so much for coming um, by I know you've been on I gotta uh, run off because my family's yeah. leaving but thank you very much sure thing I'm gonna leave this on you guys broadcasting uh, when it times out I think Michael you're gonna take it over right yeah, Not Michael Dell. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Dell is just going to take over in a few minutes when it times out. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, actually, right. Michael's going to take over. Yeah. yeah. If you want to, if you want to have your guys uh, take it over, and we can put a Dell banner in there. Uh, you know, hey, we can. We can, we can, we can you guys are doing great. We're Thanks, not, Michael. Good to meet you. Up, you guys. So you, you've been doing a great job. So. <laughs> and my my boss has Michael. Been, I got it. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I've asked too many, so go ahead. And Michael, I know they're looking Hangouts and stuff, but I was just curious as to whether you're using uh, Hangouts amongst like Google or I'm sorry, Dell, like your peers, your colleagues, and the people that you work with uh, yet. I have done a few. Yeah, I've done some with uh, other uh, executives in other companies and people inside Dell and. Family members and you know, uh, kind of uh, obviously private discussions, and um, you know, some of those have been business discussions and been great. Cool. And you know, we, we have a pretty active uh, Dell Dell group on on Google Plus, and um, you know, uh, not only uh, sort of learning, but also you know, finding opportunities to help customers out just like we do on Twitter and so you know it's 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 uh important for us to be 
be where our customers are. Yeah. I mean, besides the fascination with the, the technology, I mean, can you say that it's made your life easier so far, somebody like you? <laughs> you know, I think it's, it's, um, it's certainly um, interesting, and I'd say some of the conversations have been uh, enhanced, you know, because of the nonverbal communication, um, and, you know, you, you, you probably... Uh, um, you know, it's just easier to connect with people uh, you know, when, when, you're, when you're doing it in a visual fashion. So, uh, that's all good. Michael, hey Michael how, how important is it for a young entrepreneur to understand uh, the import, importance of, build, of sales to build, to build their company? How important is it? For the entre entrepreneur to understand you know, the importance of sales to build his business. Well, you know, what I would tell you is that um, I don't think there's necessarily one, only one way to succeed, you know, as an entrepreneur. Um, I think there are probably, probably many ways uh, to succeed. Um, there are actually more ways to fail than you want to succeed, but that's a different story. Um, you know, what, what, you know, certainly, you know, getting initial sales and getting, um, you know, in customer insights, understanding of customers, you know, being in tune with unmet needs of customers and being able to, you know, really please customers, delight like customers, you have to be able to do that or else you can't create or grow a business. And certainly, you know, any business that you want to have grow really fast, you've got to really understand what customers want to be able to, you know, provide things uh, in a pretty incredible way. And certainly young businesses have to have, have to be very flexible, like right? they have to sort of move around and change their uh, ability to, to serve customers based on evolving needs. So James, where are you from? Uh, I'm Vancouver. Vancouver, great. Yeah. All right. Well, look, it's great to uh, meet you guys. Congratulations on this uh, kind of epic hangout and testing the technology here. Really, really impressive. Michael, I got one more question for you. Sure, go for it. NVIDIA or AMD? Well, you know, they do totally different things. Um, NVIDIA is a, is a great GPU company. Uh, you know, um, I guess AMD, I should say. AMD is really more of a CPU company. They have GPUs as well. Um, you know, I think on the, on the GPU side, um, you know, uh, NVIDIA has tended to be a bit more ahead, uh, particularly on the high-performance workstation or, or discrete graphics. That's getting to be a tougher and tougher game, right, because the integrated graphics is getting more and more powerful. But there's always a high-end piece of that. I think NVIDIA's move into ARM is uh, pretty clever, and I think ARM has a lot of promise, particularly as you get multiple core ARM processors and more professional uh, tools around ARM for the um, more enterprise type type applications. Um, I think I think the real battle in the next few years is going to be x86 versus ARM, and that will be pretty interesting. And I think you know customers will certainly benefit. I mean, the big difference between ARM and x86 is the ARM processor. All the micro uh, pipelines, you know, shut down when they're not being used. Whereas x86, the whole thing's on all the time, mm -hmm. and it just uses lots of power as a result. Now, you know, the x86 guys know all about this, and they've gone off and sort of re-architected. But hey, that takes a couple of years. It's not, yeah. it's not an easy thing to do, but they're they're working hard at it.
Okay, thanks. Hey, just sure. a real quick product question for you. What what are the models and monitors you have right behind you? Um, they are 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 thirty inch uh, thirty inch ultra ultra sharps. U thirty eleven H, I think. I think I think you're right. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Sorry, um, one more question um, about Nvidia. How do you think um, the project demo is going to pan out for them? Do you think it's going to be fast enough, or do you think by the time um, like 2015 comes along, Intel might have something that will just kill it before it can uh, make its mark or something? You know, I might um, know that by a different name. So you want to tell me what it is? It, you know, um, uh, Project Demers, uh, NVIDIA's, um, their ARM15 chip that's oh, going to yeah. come out in uh, 2015, on the roadmap anyways. Um, well, you know, not speaking about any specific projects or unannounced products, certainly for many of our suppliers, um, you know, like I said earlier, I think ARM has a lot of promise. I mean, if you look at the ARM roadmap, if you listen to the publicly announced information about ARM, um, it's a very promising architecture. And, um, you know, certainly, I mean, if, if you think about where ARM processors are, um, you know, there are about 10 times as many ARM processors uh, built every year as there are x86 processors. There are over 100 companies that have licenses for ARM processors. Uh, and, you know, in a sense, it's almost like an open source processor, right? Because you license this thing and you go make sort of, you know, whatever you want. And there are lots and lots of companies doing it, so it's extremely competitive. And the, their roadmap is, is really, really impressive. So, you know, we like it. We're, we're, we're even playing around with ARM servers. Uh, there have been some articles about that recently. So, uh, you know, I think NVIDIA is a, is a great company. They've got great, uh, great, you know, processor designers, but certainly they're not the only ones, right? You've got, you got all kinds of guys in that game. You've got you know, Qualcomm and Texas Instruments, and there's some unbelievably competitive companies in Asia. You know, you've got uh, MediaTek and Samsung, and you know, there's a long list of guys that are that are in that business. You know, Marvell, you know, Silicon Valley company, so lots of uh, competition. I think that'll uh, you know accelerate the pace of innovation. Okay. Michael, I, I have to say that it's a huge honor um, as a, an entrepreneur just to get to to chat with you here and. I think uh, what you guys are doing, um, you know, with taking your customer service and thinking about Hangouts, I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, you guys in, in business school were one of the businesses that I did case studies on, so I just have to say what a huge honor it is to uh, have gotten to spend this time with you. Well, thanks very much. It's fun for me, too. I enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the opportunity, and I'm going to go grab some dinner with my family, so great, great to meet you all. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.